We are pleased to be joined on BNC by the head football coach of Lincoln University in Pennsylvania, Josh Dean. Coach Dean, thanks for your time. Uh, you will take part in the third annual quarterback coaching summit on Monday and Tuesday. What exactly does that mean to you? Uh, it means opportunity. It means a platform to uh, to learn, to gain knowledge, to network with some of the best coaching minds, uh, regardless of minority, uh, of race, but a lot of the greatest coaching minds, period. And also an opportunity to represent Lincoln University um, to the best of its uh, ability, best of my ability. So I'm just excited about the opportunity to learn. You know, uh, in my place as a head coach, uh, they always say, you know, we're always giving directives and, and directions and, and teaching. But, you know, the great thing, the greatest thing about being a teacher is having the ability to learn as well. So I'm very excited about that. Now, you will be the only Division II coach taking part and one of four HBCU coaches. At what point does that sink in, just how exclusive an opportunity this will be? You know, I, it's a funny story. They called me. Uh, I was on the phone with someone from the office about uh, getting set up for the Skype or for the Zoom call, and uh, I really didn't know or was un unaware that I was selected until uh, our SID, our Sports Informa Information Director, uh, notified me. And, you know, it. I still don't believe it sat in all the way. Um, I'm just very thankful. I feel that my career uh, has been one of, of being prepared and being able to take care, take advantage of opportunity. And that's something that we preach to our players in our program. So, um, you know, it's a great honor, like I said, to, to represent uh, the Division II uh, level, to re represent historical black colleges, uh, especially in this climate that we're dealing right now. So I'm just excited to get out there and learn. Um, and I just, I feel like it's a great, great opportunity overall. Well, the quarterback coaching summit exists for a reason, not only for networking, but uh, you mentioned earlier, it also will help you understand certain tips and tactics that will help you advance as a coach. Uh, sad that it's necessary, but only four minority head coaches exist in the NFL, three black coaches, and then you have guys like Eric Bieniemy constantly overlooked, despite in his case a record-setting resume. Does that enter your mind at all, or do you feel like your eyes have to solely remain forward on the ultimate goal? It's a little bit of both, uh, you know, in our case, uh, you know, it, we have double duty, you know, and, and uh, it's it's no secret of being a black man that, uh, you know, it's it's not the same opportunities. You don't have the same as as someone else, um, but and it's more responsibility. But, you know, you have to keep your eyes on the goal and the guy, eyes on the prize of of elevating yourself you know it's not about your it's not about me personally as much as it is about those that'll follow me and we need more we need more people like us up there uh being uh, the percentage of the the players uh that are african-american um in the national football league and if you look at uh, just in division one college ranks period you know you can see it through all levels uh with coaching and minorities but you know I'm from the standpoint of I see that they're trying to make change. Now it's up to us to make sure that we take advantage of these opportunities. You know, if I go into a situation not prepared, uh, not taking it seriously, uh, not making sure I stay on top of what I do and who I am as a person, then I'll be doing those, these opportunities of disjustice. So it's up to us to make sure that we go up there and we capitalize on these opportunities. As a head coach, as a leader of impressionable young adult men, what do you tell them when they look at you and they ask how to survive, uh, how they should respond and react uh, to what they see, to uh, the inevitable racism that they will face uh, as black young adult men? I think the, the first thing is, is to accept there, there's a, the word embrace has been uh, strongly implanted in my mind the past few weeks as far as, or the past couple of months about this whole process. You know, you have to embrace what your situation is, embrace the struggle, embrace the opportunities, and you have to use it to fuel you in the path to success. So I told my team, um, I'm proud 
of what they've done. We have a lot of student athletes have done protests, peaceful protests, have done different things to generate awareness. Uh, and, you know, the biggest thing, I think the key word you said is survive. You know, you have to, we have to survive. We have to have this youth that has a wealth of knowledge, the wealth of knowing how to use their resources. And we have to survive and play the long game. And we have to make sure, you know, one of the initiatives that we want to do and that we're starting to work on now is that we're going to to do a pledge to attend and to vote. You know, I want to have 100% of our football team to be representatives and leaders in our community and pledge that we'll be at the polls on November 3rd, I believe, to show up and vote and make a change. Coach Joshua Dean, head football coach at Lincoln University in Pennsylvania. We appreciate your time. Thanks for all that you do for your young men at that university. The third annual quarterback coaching summit will take place on Monday and Tuesday. Joshua Dean, we wish you the best uh, with networking um, and with all else at that summit. Uh, congratulations again on being named and we appreciate your time and you're welcome anytime to join us again here on the Black News Channel. Look forward to it. Thank you very much.